morning everybody. It is Wednesday the 19th of August and this morning we're going to read together Psalm 49. Listen to this all you people. Pay attention everyone in the world. High and low, rich and poor, listen. For my words are wise and my thoughts are filled with insight. I listen carefully to many proverbs. I solve riddles with inspiration from a harp. Why should I fear when trouble comes, when enemies surround me? They trust in their wealth, they boast in their great riches. Yet they cannot redeem themselves from death by paying a ransom to God. Redemption does not come so easily, for no one can ever pay enough to live forever and never see the grave. Those who are wise must finally die, just like the foolish and senseless, leaving all their wealth behind. The grave is their eternal home, where they will stay forever. They may name their estates after themselves, but their fame will not last. They will die just like animals. This is the fate of fools, though they are being they are remembered as being wise. Like sheep, they are led to the grave, where death will be their shepherd. In the morning the godly will rule over them. Their bodies will rot in the grave, far from their grand estates. But as for me, God will redeem my life. He will snatch me from the power of the grave. So don't be dismayed when the wicked grow rich and their homes become even more splendid. For when they die, they take nothing with them. Their wealth will not follow them into the grave. In this life, they consider themselves fortunate and they are applauded for their success. But they will die just like all before them and never again see the light of day. People who boast of their wealth don't understand. They will die just like animals. Amen. That's Psalm 49. Uh, maybe not a very cheery psalm because of what it talks about, but it is a great leveller, as we would say. It shows that we are just all the same. It doesn't matter whether you've got wealth or don't, whether you're famous or whether nobody sees you. Um, we are all exactly the same. We live for a time and then we die. And just that it says you can't take the wealth with you. It means nothing to you in your death. Even though you might have things named after you now here on earth, that, that just fades and goes away. Nothing matters that is of this life. The only thing that matters is if God redeems us, as it talks about. The psalmist talks about how God will redeem my life. He will snatch me from the power of the grave. Where, what happens at death? Will we simply decay? Will we be forgotten about? In earthly terms, yes. Um, but where will we be? Will we have trusted God? Will we be in heaven? Will we have that resurrection that Christ talks about in um, the New Testament and which Revelation talks about? A new heaven and a new earth. Those who know and love God as Saviour are restored or resurrected into a new body, just like Christ was whenever he rose again from the grave. You know, this, this psalm alludes to that. Um, there was a lot of debate went on in the, in the nation of Israel between their, their different religious leaders. You had the Pharisees and the Sadducees. The Pharisees believe in resurrection, the Sadducees don't. They both believe in a destination after death, but the Pharisees believe that we'll be raised again, and that's what Jesus talks about. Jesus says that he is the first to be raised again in a new body. A body which won't decay, which won't um, break down. A body which we will have whenever we are in heaven. Um, just like Revelation 21 talks about. But we're all the same. You can't buy that body. You can't earn that body. It doesn't matter what you have done. You cannot pay the price that is needed for that. The only person who can do that for you is God and Christ. So if you have nothing on this earth, but if you have God, you are the wealthiest person that there is. And if you have all the money that you need, if you could buy anything, you could just go out and buy now anything that you wanted, but you don't have God, then you are the poorest person on this earth. Because that means nothing. The only thing that matters is that relationship with God. Think about that today, please. Let's pray. Father, help us 
today to realise what's important and what's not. Help us to get things in the right order. Lord, help us to be right with you and to have that relationship with you. And then, Lord, to realise that that's all that we need. We don't need anything else. We don't need all the wealth and all that this world offers. We just need that relationship with you. Lord, if there's anyone listening or watching this who as yet has not made that commitment, I ask that you would speak to them now. Father, I thank you. In Christ's name. Amen. I trust that you have a good day. Take care. God bless. See you again tomorrow.